Today, I'm going to show you how to make this halftone effect inside of DaVinci Resolve, and I'm also giving it away for free. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is open up Fusion. From here, we're going to drop in a background node, and we're going to hit one on our keyboard to bring it into the first viewer window. What we can do now is drop in an ellipse node and connect that to the back or the blue arrow of the background node. From here, we need to change the canvas size to a square aspect ratio. To do that, we're going to go over to image and then uncheck auto resolution and just change the width to 1080. Bam! Now, if you want, you can also adjust the soft edge in your uh, ellipse node and also make it a little bit bigger. But this doesn't really help us. We need a million little dots. And to get that, we're going to add a transform node after the background node. We're going to hit one on our keyboard while the transform is selected. We're going to switch the edges from canvas to wrap. And now if we make the size smaller, Look at what happens. <laughs> the next thing we need to do is add in a merge to our main uh, time pipeline thing area. And you just connect the transform to that merge and change the edges in the merge to wrap as well. Look at that. So we got to do some tweak in here. First of all, I think add in a little bit of an angle in that transform. That's going to look pretty good but we just have one problem there's just a million dots on the screen and it's not really interacting with anything so to fix that inside of the merge we're gonna change the apply mode now you can change it to whatever you like but I'm gonna use color yeah color I was looking a little dull here so what I could do is right before this half tone uh, I can add in a color corrector and just bump up that saturation so this looks pretty good, but um, it's just like an overlay, you know, it's, it's not really interesting. So to spice it up a little bit, we're going to copy our media in, paste it over here, connect it to the merge one. So another merge appears and in between media in one copy and merge two, we're going to hit shift space and add a luma keyer. While the luma keyer is selected, hit one on your keyboard. And then, um, yeah, now you can just adjust all these settings to like really get it what you want to, to look like. Personally, I inverted it and then I messed with uh, the contract, the, the gamma, um, all these, these settings here. So it only affects the light areas. And now if we play this, it looks amazing. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so you could, you know, Make this no tree every single time you want to make halftones, but it's kind of a pain to do. So what I've done is made this into a, you know, like a little plugin that you can download for free inside of my Discord. The link is in the description. Make sure you save it to somewhere you can find easily. And then all you have to do is just drag and drop it onto the timeline. Now, the one thing that kind of sucks is that DaVinci Resolve doesn't automatically save it. So what we have to do is right click that node and then go to macro, create macro. And then you're just going to check all the things that are, are here, all these boxes. And, and these are all the, the controls to the halftone node. So if you don't check them, then you're not going to have that control. And that would kind of suck. So now all you got to do is, uh, I mean, you could rename it too, but uh, just file save as. Now what's really cool is if you hit shift space, we can type in halftone and there it is. So in the future, you have this halftone node and you can uh, just use that and it has full controls where you can, you know, change the color of the, the dots. To, oh, wait, you can change the color of the dots to whatever. And, and you know, you can change the size of them and the angle of them. Anyways, that's how you make halftones inside of DaVinci Resolve. And that's also the end of the video. Goodbye.